This is Bruce Line Radio. Call it from the 516-287-3321. What's your name? Where you call it from? Nassau Zone, New York. Hi, I'm the second man in the building. How y'all doing this evening? Shalom, Israel. Uh, How y'all doing? No, uh, what's going on, sis? How you doing? Still alive. Still alive. I wanted to come and time in uh, from a woman's perspective, and, and I definitely think that the conversation that you brothers are having tonight are much needed. I definitely wanted to say that um, as, as black women, we are the last ones that can, can take critique. It seems like Whenever someone wants to critique the black woman, then you become a hater of black women. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, you better, you better uh, check your blinds after you don't uh, No doubt. I really think that it's something that if we're going to talk about healing, right. you know, everyone, if we're going to talk about healing, and we're going to talk about correcting the black family and correcting right. the the black unity, then we right. definitely need to begin to critique each other's behavior. Yeah, right, and, right, and, and as a black as a black woman, um, I, I was raised by my father as a single parent. My father raised me from three months old. Um, mm-hmm. So I know that there's a black man. Yeah. 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 I, I know that there's good black men out here. I know I, I've seen brothers that want to be fathers and because they don't yeah. want to be with a woman, now they can't be with the child. No one wants to talk about those kind of behaviors. Right, I've right, seen, right. I've, I've, I've seen when, as soon as you mention the word submissive in, in a room full of black women, you begin to get attacked because somehow they, they equate submission with being weak. Right, and the most right. powerful thing that I've ever done in my life would be submissive to my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they go out and 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 they go out Mm-hmm. You know, that's because we, we keep on taking on the, the, the ideas from our enemy. We keep right. on taking on the ideas from, from, from the white men. So when, when black women think of submission, we think of the 50 shades of gray, somebody getting tied up or somebody being abused. <laughs> right, and right. and that, that's not what it's about at all. In fact, when you really talk about submission, it has nothing to do with sexuality. Right. In fact. Exactly. So uh, uh, that's just a misnomer that's connected to that word to keep right. our women. And when I say our women, I'm saying black women because right. no other no other nation of women feel this way. we black women are, are the only women that get the onus on us that we're the backbone of the family. Right. No right. other nation has this onus. The Koreans, everyone knows the black the, the, the Korean man is the backbone of the family. The European, the, the white man is the backbone of the family. Right. The, uh, uh, every
actually says that. Right. When a black right. woman can give the experience of being raised by her father, right. raised right by her father, so now you can't say that she's coming from a broken heart or deadbeat dad or nothing like that. So she's speaking from pure experience of what a man can do right. in the household. That's how it is now, sis. Right. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and well, one, one second, one, one second, sis. One, one second, sis. Oh, one second. And I'm only talking for right here about uh, what these stories of the black families mm -hmm. always take it back to Adam and Eve. Right. Because if you look, if, if you look at what Eve saw. I get Genesis 3 when, when, with the story. Come on, I would love bringing this yeah, up. Because it's so powerful. Because it really it, it paints a picture of what our, our struggles are as a family today. Right. Eve wanted because she couldn't went to Adam and I could put any goddamn family. Right. He controlled the whole right. thing. Right. One woman said the serpent asked her the question. That's right. Yeah. That's Come on, sir. That's like what, like what, you, what you bringing out mm -hmm. with going back to Adam and Eve. Come on, that's like the, the beginning of. The destruction between the black man and the black woman, right. and the white man being the cause yes, of the destruction. Right. The white right. man don't go to the black man first because we recognize him as an enemy. Yes, he always goes to the one who got it first. Read that. In the Genesis chapter three, verse two, then mm -hmm. the woman said unto the serpent, "We may eat." No, no, read, read when the serpent asked her the question. But this is important. You say you can you eat from all the fruit? You see that one? Right there. Read that. Now the serpent was more. What verse? Verse one, Genesis three. Now the Genesis chapter three, verse one. Thank you. That's a lot. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which which the Lord God had made. Uh huh. And he said unto the woman. Yeah, God has said he shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So now why am I starting here instead of starting in verse 2? The white man knew that. The white man knew what boundaries were set forth between Eve and Adam. The white man knew what Adam told her. You know how he knew Adam told her? Because at this time, Eve wasn't mixing with the other nations. Eve wasn't learning the other cultures and everything. She was doing exactly what her man said. That's right. why he said, as God said, you shall not eat every tree in the garden. Right. Read the next verse. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Uh -huh. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So now she knew the instruction, and she knew the punishment right. if she disobeyed. Right. So now she and she gave him the precept. The precept is in Genesis the second chapter. Right. So she gave the serpent the precept to why they not eating or learning any other information except what the Lord told them. Right. Because they, if you eat, if you learn this information, you're gonna die. So we we live it. And the white right. man seen Adam and Eve living mm, and hating. Right. Just like seeing a black couple together, the white man hates that to this day. Yeah, right. That's the greatest power we got is a yeah. black man and black woman being together. Yeah, that's right. Right. And the white man yeah. see that and know that that's our power structure. He right. said, how can I break that up? Right. How can I mess yeah. that up? I'm going to go to the woman first. And after I destroy her, I'm going to go to the man, and then I'm going to have them hate each other every day. Right. I'm going to have them hate each other. Now, read the next verse. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. You ain't going to die. Listen, he, listen, that white man knew exactly what to say to the guys. See, he said, you ain't going to die. That, that, that lit the light bulb. All right. That is the first light bulb in the black woman. Right. You ain't going to die. So she thinking, I ain't going to die. But what is going to happen? Read. For God doth know that in the day thereof, so like it. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be as God. You shall be as what? You shall be as God. You can stop right there. That's all the black woman needed to do. Right. You tell a black woman she got. Right. They'll get the money. Right. Listen, in them black me black worlds and them Christian churches, that black woman is treated like she got, and they will empty their pockets, bank account, and everything 
just to be called a god. Right. And the white man knew this in the garden. That's why Romans 15 and 4 says, Whatsoever was written in four times was written for our learning that we face the comfort of the hope me, of the scriptures. We might have hope. We're supposed to read this story and see what's the problem between the black man and the black man. Right. We right. get rid of the white man, there is right. no problem right. between the black man and the black man. Like, what did they really do to us and we do to them? Nothing. Right. It was a situation we was put in that forced us to become enemies because we wanted peace or a little bit of sympathy. From the oppressor. Right. right. Well, we should just take the pain from the oppressor to love our sister, to love right. our brother. Right. Now, after she said, You'll be a God, read uh, next uh, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good, she learned that food, shit. She learned that shit right away. The white man gave her a hint of information right. that will allow her to be dominant. Yeah. And what she ended up learning is that being dominant over your man is not what God intended for you. Right. Because after that, now she has babies in pain. And the hiccup Adam simple ass. Adam was a simp. It's a lie when I talk. <laughs> Adam simple ass because he knew the same as that. The same preset he yeah. dropped is the same thing Adam dropped. Because the fault of the black man where we failed is as we see the black woman in her weakness. We were supposed to be her strength. That's right. right. We were not supposed to listen to what the white man said. Right. So Adam wasn't supposed to listen to the serpent. Right. So when he came with that knowledge, Adam was supposed to be strong enough to say, no, the Lord said do this. Right. The Lord did not say do this. That's when Adam should have called her a bitch. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, right. That's right. That's a straight up and down criteria. You know why? Because she was bringing into that household something that God hated. And if God hated it, it should become an enemy. Did not David said that? Did not I hate him that hate thee? He said the same exact thing. Adam should have been stronger. And in his strength, he would have strengthened Eve. And Eve would have had the strength to resist Adam, excuse me, resist the serpent in the garden, and we wouldn't be here. So now in 2018, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to see the weakness in Eve. Right. And strengthen her, and he's supposed to see the weakness in herself, see the strength of the man, and then we be fine. Right. I just gave the lecture, I ain't doing it no more. No, I'm not going to go ahead and do it. I'm 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 but then we leave people sitting around waiting for a solution. So right. this is just me talking to the sisters, um, especially the sisters that have that have assigned themselves to the cosmology of what we consider the conscious community today. And I want to say the first thing I want to say is that the black woman is God is only a ploy for pussy. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, 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 wait, wait. Right. I wish I had my sound effects. I'd be gonna drop the body bag. I wish I had the body bag. Man, do we got this up? We got a human sound effect right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the first sister that called into the show and actually dropped a body bag. Yes, sir. Yeah, you gotta say that again since she got to say it one more time. I'm not I'm not saying it because I think it, I'm saying because I, I've come out of this school of thought and I know exactly what it is. And the whole black woman is God bullshit is for pussy. Oh, 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 what they did, what they did was they 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 revamped and they flipped and they bastardized. And we do this so well because we learned it from our enemy. We right. learned it from the white man. Right. We learned how to take we learn how to take information and then flip it and turn it around and do all that bullshit. So mm -hmm. they took it from they took it from a scholar of the conscious community that, that was asked a question. And the question was asked him, uh, who is God? And he said, I don't know who God is. All I know is my first God was my mother because she fed me and oh, she clothed me. Oh. And the conscious community took that line <laughs> and then turned that and turned that into a way to get pussy and what they do sisters and i'm talking to the sisters what they do is they'll tell you that you're god 
so they can repeat between your legs and then they'll treat you like a dog. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, you use they'll, they'll turn around, they'll turn around, they will turn around, uh, uh, they'll turn around and tell you you come from eight. Right. And, they, and they'll turn around and tell you, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of nonsense, but they never give you that kind of respect. And how can you, how can you believe a man can consider you a God who follows nothing? Right. If they follow nothing, they can't even put you in the place of God because they don't know what it is. They have no idea who that is. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy,